So recently I finally picked up the PlayStation Vita. I have a PSP and I love the PSP, but I've always wanted a PS Vita. I'm still gonna keep the PSP, but I waited a while to get the PS Vita for the prices to go down because when I got the PSP, the prices for the Vita were still pretty high. I mean, they are still really high, but to lower the cost for that, I've been saving up video games from like thrifting and buying out lots on like Facebook Marketplace and everything over the last like year and a half. So I traded a bunch of games in. Majority of them are like these loose discs right there. It goes all down the side. We got a bunch of Wii games, Xbox games, PlayStation games, and uh, a few DS games down there. That's definitely a really good way to save some money if you're gonna buy something from a video game store. I recommend doing that. The hardest part about that is just finding enough video games to get trade in credit because most of these games are like really low dollar games, like one or two dollar games. So it took a lot. I had about 150 ish games, I think to trade in. And the main reason I wanted a PS Vita in 2023 was because of emulation. Now this console is about 10-ish years old. I can't remember the exact year it came out. I never grew up having a PSP or a Vita. I never had any of these. So having these today is really cool for me. And one of the main reasons why you guys should get a PS Vita is obviously how easy it is to emulate. Like recently within the last few months, you can mod the entire console using the console. Like you don't have to plug in your SD card to a computer, put it back and forth and everything like that. You literally just use the, the browser that's included on the Vita right there and it downloads everything for you. And you can still play online games with the emulated games on the PS Vita, which is pretty cool. I only have a few games on here at the moment because I literally just got this thing yesterday. And I also need to upgrade my SD card. It's a huge bonus on the PS Vita because you can buy a little adapter to buy like a 250 gigabyte micro SD card, put the SD card into an adapter, put it in here. I don't want to take it out because then it's going to give me like an error message or whatever. I have to restart my PS Vita, but so you can easily upgrade the storage on your Vita. I'm probably going to go with a 200 ish gigabyte SD card eventually. Right now I just have the factory 8 gigabyte so I could pretty much download like four games on here. Right now I have Black Ops Declassified which I played a little bit last night. It's pretty cool because it's the PS Vita exclusive and there are people that still play it. Not many but people definitely still play it. Terraria, it's a classic game. I've never played it before. I've always wanted to so I, so I was playing that a little bit last night and then I just downloaded Uncharted Golden Abyss, which is the PS Vita exclusive. I like the Uncharted games, so I'm excited to play that. Also down in the comments, leave me some game suggestions. I'd love to see what your guys' favorite games are, and I'd love to download some more games. Oh yeah, I also have Run Sackboy Run, which is just like a free game from the PS Vita store. I have to clean up my homepage. You could put everything in like folders and everything, so I have to do that soon. So yeah, pretty much when you mod your PS Vita, you're gonna get um, the Vita DB downloader, which I'll get to later, Vita deploy, whatever. Uh, and right now, I'm going to show you guys the PKGJ. But with the PKGJ, you can download every single PS Vita game. Like, this is a library of every single PS Vita game on here. Uh, it literally goes on for days, pretty much. You can get European, Japanese, or USA. Uh, you can even, like, sort everything specifically how you want it by title, region, name, size, date, whatever. Asia, Europe... I should probably get rid of that because I don't. I just want USA games at the moment, but it's really easy. You just click on a game and press install game, and it downloads just just like normal. Your downloads go up here on the top right, and you could you know keep track of it just as if you're downloading it from the store. The PS Vita library is pretty decent. It's a pretty big library, but you can literally download any game on here. And that's amazing because PS Vita games are pretty expensive now because nobody really bought this console. There aren't a ton of games going around, which means the games are going to go up in price. So it's just really easy to do that. But yeah, you're definitely going to need to get a SD card upgrade on this thing if you want to have a lot of games because I have almost maxed out my storage. I think I could download probably a few more games. I probably have about like two, one and a half to two gigabytes left. So I'm going to order an adapter which they only cost like three dollars on ebay or something like that they're really cheap for the adapter something else that's really cool that i haven't actually messed around with yet uh is the custom themes manager which you can get when you mod your ps vita you could pretty much get any custom theme you want so yeah right here uh there are a bunch of themes and it's kind of cool they actively update this like there's a sonic frontiers theme which that's a pretty new game which i think is pretty funny uh i'm gonna mess around with that later and download some themes for sure so let's check out Vita DB or Vita Download Browser. I think that's what it stands for. So on here, you can download a ton of like fan-made games, uh, which is really neat. Like a bunch of games that are inspired by other popular series. Like some people can make their own like Mario spinoff game or whatever. You download Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, N64 emulators on here, which I'll probably get the Game Boy Advance emulator. 
It's also kind of neat. You can see how many downloads it has. This one has 154,000 downloads, which is an insane number. That's crazy. You can get Slither.io or Slither.io. That's neat. It's pretty much endless. Like this goes on forever. It's it's crazy. Another thing you could do on the Vita is actually get a PSP emulator. It's called the Adrenaline. I don't have it downloaded right now, but it's literally just having a PSP on your Vita. It's the entire layout of a PSP. You can play PSP games, PS1 games on here. I'm probably not going to get that though because I have a PSP and I actually want to use it still in the future. So if I ever want a PSP game, I'll just download it on my PSP. But who knows, maybe one day I'll sell the PSP and then I'll just have it on here. Download Adrenaline. Adrenaline's really easy to download. There are tutorials for everything on YouTube. It's, it's really easy. It takes a short amount of time. Personally, I had issues finding out how to download games. The tutorial I watched just explained how to mod your PS Vita. No one really was showing me how to download games and I couldn't find it anywhere for some reason. But pretty much after you mod your PS Vita, go to the PKG J right there and then you're gonna have to refresh the page and then the entire list of games is gonna show up. It's really easy. Also going back to how I never had these as a kid, I just kind of wanted a PS Vita because I wanted to experience this eventually while it's still relevant and I think the PS Vita is pretty much more relevant now than it ever has been. People are really loving their Vita. It's it's a huge community. It's a growing community. A lot of new things are being added to this, like how you can mod it on the Vita itself that literally came out within, I think, six months ago. I don't know. It came out really recently, though. It hasn't been out that long. People are still updating new apps and stuff on here, so it's an active community. It's also growing. You can use this thing as a remote for your PS3 and 4, I think. I, I'm going to try that eventually. It's pretty cool. But yeah, I highly recommend getting a Vita. And also, mine was a little cheaper because it has some scratches on it. It's a pre-owned model. You know, there's some screen scratches. It's hard to... It's kind of hard to notice. There's some scratches on the back, but, like, that's not too bad. I'm going to buy something to kind of help get rid of those. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment down below of your favorite PS Vita game. And I'll see you in the next video.